Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is the continuation of my previous video tutorial there we had a started discussion about the uh, Java class dependency analyzer tool that is called JDEPS. So we have gone through the theoretical concept now uh, we have seen couple of I mean uh, commands uh, through which we can analyze I mean the dependency uh, in previous video tutorial but still there are few commands are pending which I am going to cover in this video tutorial so first uh, command say that analyzing the dependencies of any jar that already we have seen we will have to write on command prompt jdeps and you will have to specify your location of your jar right that already we have seen right so here we have issued that command or in earlier video tutorial right J jdeps and we have specified the uh, generator jars location and you can see uh, you can see so let's uh, let me run this command again and you can see so jdeps and we have specified the our jar location which i had generated in my previous video tutorial uh, so some of the parts already I have been covered in the previous video tutorial so uh, I will recommend you to go and watch my, my first previous video tutorial uh, and then come to watch this one uh, then that would be more, more beneficial for you okay so this is the first command if you want to analyze the jar file right any jar files now second command we have a use uh, dash capital P or you can write dash profile option to show on which profile that jar depends right so here you can write like j d e p s right and here you can write a, a command line option like dash capital p and you can specify location of your jar right so here i have kept my jar so here you can specify your jar location so this will this will give you the i mean profile name from where your basically your uh, jar belongs right so they basically your jar basically depends on the some other jars like rt dot jars which is having a profile is compact one and again your our jar uh, inside this jar we have a class uh, and that class depends on the java dot io java dot lang and there are several package like java.util.g and uh, you can see every package belongs to the certain uh, profile name is called compact1 so compact1 compact2 and compact3 these are the three uh, profile name which is introduced in the jdk 1.8 if you don't know what the what is this profile then you can go and google and try to search what is compact profile in jdk 1.8 you'll get the more details okay now let's see what is the next command now next command saying that analyzing the immediate dependencies of a specific class in a given class path for example i have given i have client dot test right so in earlier project i have shown you i have project this this project i had generated a jar file from this project and we have a client dot uh, test right so if you want to analyze this specific class right uh, right so in, in that case you need to specify the command like jdeps and uh, uh, hyphen cp cp is for class path and you need to specify the qualified name of your class right first you need to specify location of your jar then uh, class uh, i mean qualified name of your class so let's try to run this command so let's clean this command prompt and here I am going to write jdeps and you need to specify the location of your jar first and after that you can specify qualified name of your class so let me copy the qualified name of my class sorry qualified name of my class and here you can paste it and if you press enter then you can see so your class directly it depends on the rt dot jar and there are several classes your class depends right so 
one thing I have left over here so if you specify your qualified name of a class then you need to specify the CP right CP is nothing more so that's why that is not showing the uh, CP CP is for class path now you'll get the more details right so that is showing your class depends on the I mean uh, some other classes as well right so that is the detail we are getting over here now next command we can see uh, next command we can see uh, go to the slide again and here fourth command we are going to look like uh, you can use a dash verbose colon class option to find the class level dependency or use the uh, you can use dash v or dash verbose option to include dependency from the same jar file right so i am going to type this command on the command prompt and let's see what our what uh, output we get so here you will have to write first of all yes so this command already i'm going to edit this command so here you are going to write sorry verbose colon class and you specify the uh, you will have to specify cp i mean class path and you need to specify your jar location after that you can specify the qualified name of a class and just press enter then see uh, this is printing the all details means your jar uh, i mean your jar depends on the some other jar like rt dot jar and your your jar is having a class right so client test dot jar and that jar in that jar we have a class and that class depend on the these classes so this is basically printing the class level dependency right so your class basically depends on the what are the other classes your class is dependent dependent on the what are the other classes that class name is getting printed so now so that's all about the command for now uh, fifth command you can use uh, dash r or you can write dash dash recursive option to analyze the transitive dependency and this will give the more details in depth detail like you can write uh, jdeps and you can specify dash r and you can specify the class path and so let's try to uh, run this command so here i'm going to write i'm going to just uh, modify the uh, previous uh, command itself right so you will have to write jdeps uh, jdeps and instead of verbose you will have to write capital r capital r for recursive dependency and after that you need to specify uh, command line option uh, dash cp and after that we are going to specify the location of our jar itself and finally uh, your qualified name of your class and let's press enter and this will give you the all recursive dependency details right so this output is really huge you can see this is showing the uh, recursive dependency so in this slide something i have mistaken so here command would be jdeps dash r and dash cp and this jdeps is additional so let me add this jar this command so this is something extra add returns this is something extra i have written so let me remove this so simply we'll have to write dash r for recursive dependency okay so i have added so that's all about the command number five now if you want to generate dot files of the dependencies of uh, any class then you can 
you may use like jdps then uh, dash dot output dot and after that you can specify your jar location right so this jdps will create one dot file for given jar file and uh, naming convention for the jar file would be your jar file name and uh, with extension dot in the dot directory is specified in the uh, uh, dash uh, dot output options so here if you give the dot then in current directory itself uh, a folder a directory will be created with the name dot uh, uh, or you can specify the uh, some other location as well right so and also this will create a one a dot file uh, uh, with your jar name then dot with extension dot and this will and again this will create another uh, dot file also with the name summary but the extension would be the dot itself right so let's try this command try it out so here i have a command prompt open let's clear this and let's try to add so i would write j d e p s and after that i'm going to write dash dot output and after that you will have to specify dot your folder name this is a folder name so this dot a folder will be created in the current directory itself and let's specify the location of your jar so location of my jar i have stored over here so let me copy this location of my jar that is here this jar i had created in my previous video now let's and press enter and let's query this current directory and here you can see a lot of files <laughs> okay so this this file is created on the this location so what i'll do let's go to the this directory where i have kept my jar so here i'm going to in this location and here i'm going to issue this jar this command and let's see so that this uh, dot file will be created in this location so now let's query this directory and here you can see there is two dot file is created right so if you go to the, in this directory then you can see uh, a, a folder or directory with the dot is created so go to inside this dot and here if you query this directory then there are two dot files right summary dot dot and g file stream demo dot jar dot dot, dot right so one dot, dot uh, file is created with the jar name dot dot and second is summary dot dot so you can open this dot folder and you can find the details over here right you can open in let's open in notepad plus plus and you can see the details so this basically stores the summary details So this basically is stored in a uh, summary details, right? And if you, you can open this jar as well. So this is getting stored. All dependency is getting a store uh, that analyzes the dependency and that gets stored in the uh, dot file, right? So that's all I wanted to cover in this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning this video and uh, and see you in next video tutorial with some new things in Java 8 and thanks for watching this video.